four strikeouts and a walk. So over in first is Matt Latrell. Latrell is chasing a record. As a matter of fact, he's tied now with most RBIs in a series. As that will roll over towards past Quinn's Fields fires. Butler's on safe. Couple of base runners aboard. The top of the scoreboard where the arch is there. Deposited into right field for Thomas Walken. Rolls all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Walken. Pulls into second with a double to begin the Kankakee second. Very quickly here in David Allen. Another base hit. Dodd into left field. And a couple of base runners are born in the second for Kankakee. That is the third. Here's the 0-1. Lifted towards left. Dabrio going back to the warning track. Finally reaches up, makes the catch. Coming in from third is Walken. He will score. Alejandro Vasquez to follow. Three pitches, one out. 2-2 offering. Reaching out, missing is Boren. Dive way out of the box here. Every game prior has winners last year. Jones County beating Gateway Arizona seven to one in the final. Base hit up the middle for Walken. He led off the second with a double. He leads off the fourth with a single. <laughs> there is a base hit down into the corner for Don. Don taking the turn and then looking into the corner retrieved by McGee and going to third is Walken. You get the railroad track and nobody can talk to you. Yeah. Up the middle, base hit, seeing a single for Butler. In will come Todd, and right behind is Padel. 1-0 pitch. Sock towards the gap. That could be trouble for Mercer, and good news for Ken Kiki. In comes the trill. Gadow rounding third, coming home. He will score. Peyton Storm driving in two. He's warming up. For Mercer County, and there is a base hit dropped into left field. Dylan Dodd will drive in Stower. Mandeville comes in too. They win tonight, they'll tie another record. In towards center field. Butler able to get over and catch the Anthony Peroni fly ball. Jordan Gonzalez will fly out the center field. Lines it right at the third baseman, Colin Padale. Well, you said it. Now that Sid's come back to the plate. Nice stop at third by Bedell. Hops up. Nice dig on the opposite end by time. Ken, look at this great grab at third. And then to get up and make the throw. And to get to his first baseman, too, for digging this one out. That is impressive. Out goes Shane. No Castillo underneath his mitt in the center field to one out Alex Mandeville single. Out of the park. Shot down the line. Nice stop by Bedell. He will hop up, fire over to first. Wow. He has played dynamite. Still possible. Tries to reach out and connect. He does attempt it. Comes up empty. Tabrio strikes out. Wrong. Let me go back and look at my numbers again. But that's right, 74 have been left on. Well, that's a little better than 12 runners left on base. And he plates the run here. Good Dow driving in on trail. For McGeehan, one to first, the other to second. And he strikes out to begin the seventh. And he knew it, too. He's a little upset with himself. He wasn't mad about the umpires your mind that you know you can't hang a pitch. Oh, nice move to first. Got Vasquez. And he's tagged out. Swing and a miss and out goes Shane. Well, the young and that base runner was stranded in the fifth of his Vasquez. Thomas Wilkins on again. And he's got more than one. Shane will retrieve. And Walken will wind up at second. It's kind of a wasted at bat for a guy who can hit the ball. There's in the, the center why. field. Kingery, who is running for Walken, now over at third. Throw comes to home plate. Windled a bit with a one run in the seventh, but 
Right now, there's a shot the middle by Patel that's going to play at least one. Putting on the brakes at third is Dodd. And they're waiting to see who yeah. will be crowned champion. And will ricochet off Shimel. Everybody's safe coming in from third. Dodd. One right at the ankles for nine in a game. Wrapped over towards Mandeville and a dig on the opposite end by Dodd. 3 2 offering. There it is. Struck it out. He's looking for a fastball, and that's what you want to do. You've set him up 3 4. We've seen on the hill. 2 2 offering. Swung on and missed. And Gonzalez out one. If you are going into the bottom of the ninth. Here in the tournament. And for him, that's a real, real downer because you definitely wanted to finish it off as a sophomore. Swing and a miss. Out goes Bozzelli. And the Cavaliers of Kankakee are the 2017 <laughs> Division II Baseball World Series in the NJCAA. I love the happiness. I love the pilot. But for on the bottom there is a man that can really throw. Don't hurt him. It's Richardson. He's somewhere down below those 12, 13 guys. And they still continue to pile on. You know, it's like hold your breath and hope for the best. Hope he comes out of there. What a performance by this Kankakee squad starting off the tournament with a loss and to turn it around and end up winning it, having to play seven games in basically seven days. And they tie the record for most wins in a World Series. They break the record for most run scores. They break the record for most RBIs. Most walks, the trill has more RBIs than any other player in the World Series, and that's all after stranding nearly 80. So that tells you the productivity of Can Kaki. Well, they have been impressive. It's another one that we talked about. We saw the basketball team in Arkansas, we saw the softball team in Mississippi, we see the baseball team take a World Series here. I mean, talk about a banner year for Can Kaki. They are celebrating in Illinois tonight. So the victory belongs to the Cavaliers of Kankakee. A six-run win, and the celebrating has just begun. Celebration has begun. The Cavaliers of Kankakee lost their opening game by a final of 11-9 to UConn Avery Point, and I guess it ticked them off. And they kept winning baseball games, knocked off Hines, then got revenge against UConn Avery Point, defeated Pitt, beat Parkland a couple of times, and now have defeated Mercer by an 11-5 final and are the NJCAA Division II Baseball World Series champions in 2017.